issue. Kitchen soap dispenser gets pumped, but no soap is dispensed. The following slides should resolve this issue. Remove the dispenser from the reservoir. Detach dispenser nozzle from pump connection. Good job! Now let us break apart the pump housing. Grab yourself a flathead screwdriver. Use screwdriver to pry apart the housing here. On both sides. And it shall pop apart for you. Now you will discover the pump internals. Watch for this sphere. It acts as the lower check valve. Note that this piston should be in one piece. Notice that mine was found in two pieces. This would indicate an issue. Inspection of the pump spring return indicates a probable cause of failure. Notice a burr. This must have prematurely worn away the contact point on the piston. Applying masking tape around the piston shaft will allow the piston head to slide over and be held in place straight and true. This method will result in a shorter piston, still functional, only slightly shorter. Now let's apply some expanding super glue on the inner perimeter. Note that the cured glue has expanded and will provide additional protection against the spring. Now remove the tape. Note that some of the tape is now glued to the inside of the piston. Use a sharp blade around the exterior perimeter to cut away exposed tape. Now apply glue around the exterior perimeter. When the glue is dry to the touch, it can be pinched down to create a taper. Now allow glue to fully cure. We have successfully reconstructed the piston. Good job! Now let's eliminate the cause of failure. Use some sandpaper to smooth out that burr on the return spring. Time for reassembly. Snapping the pump housing back together by hand can be difficult. It's recommended to use two pairs of pliers for this task. Good job! The pump required 20 to 30 priming strokes before dispensing properly. Task complete. Good job.